fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high-o silver, the Lone Ranger. his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. No outlaw leader could match his strength and courage, and no criminal who worked within the law could match his daring or resourcefulness. He was the greatest champion of justice the frontier ever knew, and the memory of his deeds will survive as long as the memory of the early West itself. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading south for the range country. Hail, Silver! Away! Mannix, land and cattle owner of the district, was in a hurry to conclude his conference with Philip Taylor, the representative of an eastern syndicate that operated a dozen ranches. They and a third man, occasionally addressed as Buck, were in Mannix's office, a dingy affair of clapboard bordering Wolf Prairie's straggling Main Street. Hey, uh, Taylor, you better take a look. They're hitching fresh horses to the stage already. You aim to catch it, you'll have to get a move on Buck, you run over to Mr. Taylor's room at the hotel and fetch his bag. Sure. I'll see if I can... Never mind, Buck. I can carry my own bags. There's nothing to get excited about, Mannix. Sit down and talk a bit. If I miss this stage, there'll be another tomorrow. Yeah, but don't you have to report back to your office? There's no hurry. But I thought that... Uh, Mannix, you... if my feelings were easily hurt, I'd say that you didn't like my company. Oh, gosh, no, Taylor. It ain't that. I... Well, it's just that I... Well, I... I'd like to know for sure where we stand. I thought I made it clear that my decision would be final. Oh, sure, sure, but uh, I guess I'm not very really bright today. Anxious to get your hands on that $30,000, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I need the cash. Badly, the 24 hours will make a difference? Mm, it might. I see. Well, there's no reason why I shouldn't oblige you. You know the property the syndicate wants, of course. Uh huh. All that land south of the county line. Right. Have the deed prepared and look for me in about two weeks. I'll return with a check for the full amount. Well, that'll be fine. The book, hand Mr. Taylor his hat. Sure. Here you are, Mr. Taylor. Well, I should get your bags now. <laughs> no, I'll take care of them. I still have time. Well, good day. Good day. Good day. Boy, you're clean local. Well, I sure would have been if he'd stayed on another ten minutes. I didn't figure I'd ever get him started. You like the looks of the inside of jail? Huh? I heard right, didn't I? It's that range south of the county line you promised to sell the syndicate, ain't it? Well, sure. But you sold that range already. You sold it just last Monday to that fellow from the east. Don't I know it? Why in blazes do you think I wanted him out of here? Huh? Harris is due here right now. I had to get rid of Taylor to keep him from eating. 
I'll be doggone if I can savvy you. Why didn't you tell Taylor that range won't yours no more? And lose the chance to make an extra profit? How come? You heard Taylor say the syndicate would give me thirty thousand, didn't you? Well, I sold to Harris for twenty. That was just your bad luck. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. What's to be done about it now? Plenty. You, you ain't gonna fake a deed, are you? Do I look that foolish? After the way you acted today, I wouldn't be surprised by nothing you done. Well, it don't matter none to me. I just work for you. But I sure hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, there's Harris now. Where? Just reined up outside. What's he coming back for? I told him I might be able to help him line up a crew. You keep your mouth shut about Taylor's, have you? I know when to keep still. And here's something else. Whatever I say, you play up to it and don't act surprised. Huh? That's all I got time to tell you now. Come in. Hello. Howdy. Well, Mannix, were you able to do anything for me? Well, I sure was, Harris. Let's see. What you wanted most was a foreman you could rely on until you got the hang of things, wasn't it, it? And a capable crew. Well, if you have the right foreman, he can hire your crew. Yes, I suppose he could. And I've got just the man for you. I don't think you've met Buck here, have you? Buck, shake hands with Mr. Harris. Mm, howdy. Glad to know you, Buck. He's the fellow from the east. I told you he was going to try ranching. Uh-huh. Harris, I think Buck will make you as good a foreman as you can find. Oh, he's the man, eh? What he don't know about the cattle business ain't worth knowing. You mean... You mean I'm the hire... You forgot I... already? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. When you mentioned it, I... I was thinking of something else. You better mind yourself. Well, Harris, that suits you? I'll be glad to take anyone you recommend. You think you'd like to work for me, Buck? Oh, oh sure, Mr. Harris, sure. Good. We'll consider it settled. You know where I'm staying. I moved into the old Grant place, didn't you? Right. Can you start to work today? <laughs> I don't know why not. That'll be fine. Your first job will be to find four or five good men and let me know when you have them. There's the Grant police, fellas. That's Harris standing out in front. Yeah, yeah that's here, man. And if one of you ever lets on that you're really working for Manny instead of him, I'll make you sorry you ever learned to talk. Oh, we can keep our mouth shut, boss. I'll see that you do. Hi there, Mr. Harris. Hello there. Oh, boy. Well, here's your crew, boss. You didn't take as long as I expected. I was lucky. And every one of these boys is a top hand. You better meet him. Uh, this fella answers when you call him Jake. <laughs> the tall hombre next to him is Idaho. That near's Shorty and the other's Whitey. Fellas, this is your new boss. Please How meet you. Yes. Glad to know you, men. I imagine you're anxious to get settled. You'll find the bunkhouse is ready, and if you're hungry, yell at the cook. You can turn your mounts into the corral. All, All right. right. Will well, you stay here, yeah. Buck? I want to speak to you. Sure. Go ahead, fellas. Right. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. <coughs> Orders, boss? Uh, I'll have work for you and the men first thing in the morning. But I wanted to speak about something else. Yeah? After you left us today, Mannix mentioned something you probably know already. Well, what's that? Before I bought this land, an eastern syndicate tried to purchase it, and he refused them. Oh, sure. I wished he'd told me before I bought. But I don't suppose I should blame him. After all, that's just business. What's the matter? He said the syndicate wanted this range badly. He wouldn't sell because he didn't like the men at the head of it. But they still want this land, and they may not be too particular how they get it. I know them, fellas. And I can tell you, Mannix didn't lie to you none. They don't stop at nothing. Well, that's what I fear. Well, <laughs> don't let it worry you, boss. They won't put anything over on us. I hope they don't. You see, Buck, I've gone pretty deeply into this venture, and as you know... I'll have to learn the business from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Every dollar I have to my name has gone into land and cattle. Yes, I know. If anything goes wrong, if I'm not successful from the start, I'll have to sell and clear out. I won't have the capital to continue. Well, didn't you hear me say not to worry, boss? <laughs> I'll try not to, Buck. <laughs> In the morning, you'll take the men and pick up that herd Mannix sold me. It's ready and waiting. Drive it onto our range. Uh-huh. And take every precaution to see that things go as they should. Mr. Harris, you can trust me and the boys to the limit. I'm sure I can, Buck. And thanks. Is, um, uh, is there anything else? No, nothing. You can join the men. Oh, oh, there's Oh, boy. Oh. 
Is that who I saw, Harris? What him say? He wouldn't believe me. Mannix is too clever. He prepared Harris beforehand. Not bad. And I tried to tell Harris that I'd spoken to Taylor and knew that Mannix had promised to sell his land to the syndicate. After it had already been sold to him, he told me I was lying. Oh. He claimed I must be working for the syndicate. But the syndicate wanted to make him suspicious of Mannix in order to force a quarrel or leave him without friends to back him up. Him think Mannix friend? He does. Uh, him he big fool. No, I wouldn't say that. After all, he's a newcomer here. He hasn't been in the district long enough to know Mannix's reputation. Uh, and as long as Mannix has been honest with him up to this point, he has no reason to distrust him. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't know he'd bought this land when we met Taylor. Where Taylor now? I'm too far away to get in touch with Kimasabe. And he won't return for two weeks. Oh. In the meantime, almost anything may happen. And um, what can we do? The only thing we can do. Harris sent his crew to pick up the cattle he'd bought. Uh-huh. They're making the drive now. But we'll keep an eye on them. Sad left, Hunter. We ride. joined his crew when the herd they drove reached his range. Hi, boss. Any trouble on the way? Not a bit. <laughs> Everything went smooth as silk, didn't it, Jay? Sure did, Buck. Heat up, boy. Well, that's a relief. You wasn't expecting any, was you? As a matter of fact, I was. Yeah? Why, fur? After you left this morning, a masked man called on me. Masked? You was held up? He didn't seem to be after cash. From what he said, I gathered he'd been employed by the syndicate. Huh? He tried to tell me that Mannix planned to sell my land. Well, talk on. What in thunder did he tell you that for? To make me suspect Mannix, I guess. Uh, what did he gain by it? I suppose the syndicate thinks if I could be persuaded to suspect Mannix, then I'd suspect you. After all, I hired you on his recommendation. Yeah, but you And don't... if I felt I couldn't trust you, I'd naturally let you go. Then I'd have to hire others to take your place. I'm not acquainted here. If I did that... Why couldn't the syndicate plant men of their own at my place? By golly, Mr. Harris. That must have been just what they were scheming. But uh, you didn't believe that masked hombre, did you, boss? Of course not. Lucky thing for you, you didn't. I'm not exactly a fool. Oh, sure not, sure. I, I didn't mean that. Where do you expect to release the cattle? Well, you see that pass up ahead? Yes. Well, there's a sizable valley behind it. Plenty of grazing, and once these critters are in it, they can't get out again except by the pass. And we can keep that guarded. What's the advantage in that? Then the syndicate won't be able to have your cows run off. They'd steal them if they could, boss. But with only the pass for us to watch, they'll never get the chance. I see. That's a clever way to handle this, Buck. Well, I'm only trying to do what's best for you, Mr. Harris. You'll find I appreciate it. Shucks. It's all part of the job. Hi, Shorty. Yeah. Tell Idaho and Whitey to hold back the wings. The trail's narrowing. We'll be at the pass in a minute. Right. Hold back the wings? Yeah. Sting them out so they won't get to milling as they go through. They're spooky now. Wouldn't take much to make them hard to handle. Oh, hey, Buck, I can... What the... Rain up! Hey, who the... That's the masked man I told you about. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh there. Don't slap, brother. Oh, 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 What do you want? Harris, well, this time you'll have to listen to me. Take that redskin friend of yours and clear out. You don't bring that herd into this valley. Try to stop me. Harris, I'll try reason for the last time. Tell your men to turn your cattle back. Save yourself trouble. You think I'm lying to you. You believe I've sold my guns to your enemies, but you're mistaken. The worst enemy you have at this moment is yourself. Buck, drive the cattle ahead. That's an order. Boss, now you're talking. I'll tell the boys. Get up. Get up there. Come on, get up there. So that's your answer, huh? Right. Very well. It's your decision. Let's go, Tonto. Come on. Get him up, Mr. Hey, stop hamstringing my herd. Stop it, you enemy. Get away from there. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Frightened by the gunfire and shouts of the Lone Ranger and Tonto, the herd turned about and stampeded wildly in every direction but that in which Harris wanted it to go. When the masked man had finished, it was clear that rounding up the herd once more would take days. Buck, on the pretext of appealing to Mannix for men to aid them, secured permission to ride to the office of his real employer. Whoa, whoa there, whoa, whoa, fella, whoa. Mannix. What is the matter with you? Somebody's wise to your scheme, eh? A mask, fella. Get your breath and try to make sense. What's this all about? He stampeded the herd before we could get it through the pass. You didn't get it into the valley? He stampeded it, I tell you. Just one fellow alone? He warned alone. He had a redskin with him. But how in places... He couldn't help it. Things happened too doggone fast. Them critters were just taking the bus loose anyhow. Right now, they're scattered all over creation. You've got to get those cows into that valley. You hear me? You've got to get them in there. We will. Just give us time. Time, uh... Taylor coming back in less than two weeks now? We'll have him there inside of three or four days. Just as soon as we can round him up. Then get back there and see that it's done. Yeah. Hey, wait. Huh? Who is this mask, hombre? Well, how should I know? I never seen him before. What's he up to? Bent on spoiling your plans, I reckon. How'd he find him out? Who told him? How much does he know? From what Harris said, he must have known the whole thing. But how he knows, I... I'll be blasted if He's I He's can... talked it. To Harris? Sure. Didn't I tell you? You didn't. Well, then it's because you never give me a chance yet. Sure, he talked to Harris. Harris told us. <laughs> Only you needn't get excited. He didn't believe anything the masked fella said. Oh, he didn't, eh? Sure not. You'd fix that. He figured it was just part of the syndicate scheme to get him off that range. You're sure Harris wasn't suspicious? None of you. How do you know? He said so. Who is he suspicious of? Just the mask fellow in the syndicate, like I said. Hmm. Well? Look here, Buck. Taylor's gone. Nobody will take the word of any fellow that hides his face so that he can't be recognized. Mm-hmm. So if you can get them cows into the valley like I told you, we're still all right. If you think so, it don't matter to me. We are. Once those critters get inside the valley, they will never walk out again alive. Harris spent his last cash for that herd. With them going, he's finished. He'll have to sell again. Yeah, I know. He told me just about the same thing. Well, when he does, I'll buy. For less than he paid me. That range will be mine again when Taylor gets back. Mine to sell for 30000 Sure. But it won't be mine if you don't get busy. So on your way. Uh, is it all right to stop by your place on the way back and borrow some help? That's what I told Harris I was coming for. Take every man I've got. Right. If you want action, boss, you'll get it. Cole Scout, Tonto. Here, Scout. You're going after Taylor. Huh? And you're bringing him here. He's in Miles City. It's a long journey, and I'd hoped he wouldn't be needed, but he will be. Me get him. I have a plan in mind, Kimasabe, and I believe I can carry it out alone, at least most of it. But I want you back with Taylor when the payoff comes. Ah. You won't need to follow the stage trails. You can save time by cutting across country. The trip shouldn't take take less than a week if you hurry. Tonto, do it. You see, Tonto, it won't be difficult to prevent the syndicate being cheated by Mannix. We could do that by merely telling Taylor the facts. Ah. But until Mannix finds out that Taylor knows the truth, he'll continue his attempts against Harris in order to get back the land he sold. Not right. So our problem is to save Harris and at the same time show him proof of Mannix's scheme. Ah. Which is something a lot harder. It can be done, however, and we'll do it. Now you'd better be on your way. Uh, me go. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Buck and the crew set to work to round up the scattered herd. It was not an easy task, however. The country was broken and wild and overgrown with brush. There were a thousand places to hide, and it seemed to the overworked cowboys that Harris's steers had found them all. Even at the end of the fifth day following the stampede, a few remained to be recaptured. Buck, Jake, and Shorty, searching out the least accessible part of the range, had made camp for the night beside an isolated water hole. Oh, gone, it feels good to get out of the saddle. I'm telling you, Buck, if I had to put in another week like this, I'd quit you flat. And me with you. Yeah? 
Well, how would you like to be me? I've been working just as hard as anybody. And on top of it, I got Harris and Mannix both snapping my head off. You seen Mannix lately? I uh, seen him yesterday. He's worried plenty. <laughs> no more than Harris is. He sure convinced that syndicate's out for his hide. <laughs> Wouldn't you hate to be such a tenderfoot, Jake? <laughs> what Harris don't know about the cattle business is a plenty. Lucky for us it is. He still don't savvy the real reason we want to throw his cows into that valley, huh? If he did, do you think we'd still be working for him? I reckon we wouldn't. Buck, how much longer will it be before we're finished? Uh, we're most finished now. Yeah? You think so? Well, I, I took a rough count when I rode back to where they're holding the main bunch. If we can comb a dozen more steers out of these draws in the morning... We'll have them all. Boy, that'll suit me fine. Sounds good, huh? Well, what do you say we turn in now so as we can get an early start in the morning? Sure, why not? All right with you, Buck? Yeah, I guess so. I've had enough work for this day at any rate. But you're not finished yet. Hey, Who's that? Stand the... up. Why, you? Don't go for that gun. No, you don't. Oh, oh my. Oh. Who's next? Don't, don't shoot me, mister. Oh. I ain't looking for trouble. Well, me neither. I'm glad to hear it. Maybe you'll follow orders. Oh, you smashed my hand. You're not hurt. Huh? Look, mister. You're what? saddling up. Well, what's this? Still. And you're to speak, I'll tell you. Oh, oh. Now saddle up and come with me. We're riding to Manic's place. Although the Lone Ranger and his three unwilling captives rode to Manic's ranch, they did not call upon Mannix himself. The first word Mannix received of their visit was in the middle of the next morning when the cowboy known as Shorty burst into his office. Hey, you want to save your cows, you better come a-running. Now what's the matter? The mask man stole them. What's that? Well, anyhow, he stole a couple of hundred, and right now he's heading for the valley. Well, you told us to take the herd you sold to Harris. He's taking cows belonging to me? That's what I said. You seen him and never done nothing about it? I helped him. Why, you Oh, no... wait, wait, Mannix. Wait till I finish explaining. He made us. He got the drop on us last night and took us along at the point of his guns. We never had a choice. Us? Who else was with you? Buck and Jake. Where are they now? Still with the mask fella. And if you don't get a hustle on, they'll be to the valley before you can stop them. What are you doing here? I made a break for it and got away. Take a look at my Stetson. See them bullet holes? That's just how close that masked army come to drilling me. We still got time to catch him? If you hurry. You bet I'll hurry. Come along. I'm with you. You'll get a bonus for this, shorty. Mask fella, eh? Same one we've seen before. <laughs> Well, he's due to learn he meddled in my business just once too often to stay healthy. Get up. Get up. Kill him, boy. Look ahead. There's their dust. You sure that's them? It has to be. Then cut down that arroyo over there. It'll get us to the pass and give us cover. Right. Get on, boy. Get up. Get up. That mask just going to get surprised. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Buck. Well? Keep those tears moving. That's for you too, Jake. You can't. Don't do... get the idea that either one of you will get the chance to escape as your friend did. If I was you, stranger, I'd be making tracks. Don't you figure Shorty went after Mannix? What if he did? You think Mannix is going to take this land down? By the time he gets here, these cows will be where you were going to take those belonging to Harris. I don't care what happens after that. You don't care if you're caught? I don't expect to be caught. If you don't, you're loco. Mannix will get you for this if it's the last thing he does. If he tries it, it will be the last thing. Buck, where's those leaders? Don't let them turn away from the pass. Oh, no, they're going along all right. See, they continue to. They're into the pass already. So I see. But if you think... All right, it... Mr. Reed. What? The Mannix! You got here! Take his guns while I keep him covered. Waiting for me, huh? Sure. Surprise you? Me and Shorty have been here for the past five minutes. Buck, take his guns like I said. Yeah, Mr. Knight. One moment. You... Mannix has me covered. My guns won't do me any good in my holsters, but I'm not handing them over. Oh, you're not, huh? Why, Touch you... Touch one of them and I'll let you have it. Mannix, tell your man to keep back. You can get in the first shot, but if that shot isn't dead center, I'll take you along with me. Yeah. Leave him alone, Buck. He's safe enough. Mister, you're going to answer some questions. Yes? Just what's your hand in this game? Who hired you to bring these cows of mine here? No one. Don't lie to me. I'm not. I suppose now you'll claim you don't know what's in that valley. Of course I do. Larkspur. You admit knowing it, eh? Why not? 
You savvy what larkspur does to cattle that eats it? It poisons them. Uh-huh. In other words, you was going to poison my cows. If you had planned to poison those, you sold Harris. What's that to you? I know why you wanted his cattle poisoned. To make him sell out. To force him to sell his range back to you. So that you could sell to the syndicate. <laughs> Pretty slick, ain't you? You don't deny it? Why should I? Harris don't know it. He won't never find out. No? Because you ain't going to live to talk. Buck, stay away from this coyote. I'm going to let him... Oh! Who did that? Good shot, Toto. Me get gun. It's Harris and Taylor with the engine. Harris, I... You rotten skunk. No, you don't savvy. I understand enough. We kept out of sight as Tonto told us and heard everything. <laughs> as Tonto told you? This was arranged beforehand, Mannix. Well, couldn't have been. You couldn't have known I'd be here. Just because Shorty got away. Shorty got away because I let him escape. I let him escape to bring you here. Well, it was a trick. And I think you can forget about selling to the syndicate. You'll be lucky if you don't go to jail. Well, Harris, it looks as though you're the man I'll have to do business with. We can get together. I won't hold you up. Good. What's your price? We'll talk about that in a moment. I've got other business here that comes first. Mannix. Well? If I chose to, I could turn you over to the law. You and these skunks with you. But, but you ain't? No. You've already lost what you value most. Money. So you're free, on the condition that you never show your face around here again. Yeah, but listen. On your way before I change my mind. But I can't... Get going. Hey, don't shoot. No, 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 You can do what you want, Mannix, but I'm hightailing. Get up there and so am I. Hey, wait for me. Get along, boy. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Harris, for a tenderfoot, you've done right well. I guess I am still a tenderfoot, Taylor. I came out on top for just one reason. The mask man. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.